Hey, hey, hey! Welcome back to my channel, guys. Dying to DIY. It's me, Camaro, and I thought it'd be really fun to take you guys through the process that I took in order to refinish this vintage bread box. I had a lot of fun doing this. Um, when I first started doing this bread box, I had a completely different idea in mind, and it just didn't work out the way I had planned, so I had to regroup and go in a different direction that you will see towards the end. I just thought it would be really fun to show you guys that just because your idea is not going according to plan doesn't mean that it can't be salvaged, saved, and still turn out so beautiful. So anyways, I'm just going to jump right into it. My first step was cleaning it with White Lightning Dixie Bell Cleaner. This stuff is awesome. It just gets rid of all that dirt and grime that your project piece has. Um, my main concern though was really cleaning the door because I really wanted to keep the original lettering and the scroll work. Um, I really like to do that with these bread boxes. It's just really fun to have some of that originality to it, but also bringing it into the here and now. So after it was all nice and clean, I started sanding the box down completely. I also needed to take the, um, the bottom of the box off because it just had some water stains on there that I needed to get rid of and just to kind of smooth it out because it was a little bowed as well. Sanding the door of the bread box was just a little bit more tedious because like I said, I wanted to keep that original scroll work and the lettering on there. So it did take a little bit longer because I had to hand sand it instead of um, being able to use my electric sander. So after everything was completely sanded, I went in with this country white color and painted the inside of the bread box just to brighten it up a little bit. After the inside was nice and painted, it was time to start on the rest of the box. Um, and as I talked about in the beginning, I had a totally different look in mind. My original idea was to stain it this dark walnut color, um, and I was totally looking forward to it. I thought it was going to be great. It just did not turn out as planned. Honestly, I was just not expecting the wood to take to the stain the way it did. And looking back, I probably should have used a pre-stain conditioner for the wood. Um, but after I had stained it and I didn't really like it, I was not about to sand it all off again and start from ground zero. So that's why I kind of regrouped and just went in a, you know, a new direction. Also, it's really funny because the part I'm working on here, you know, in between the letters, um, I didn't sand that part. So the stain actually worked really well with the wood right there. So I'm almost like thinking back, maybe I shouldn't have sanded it all down and it probably would have worked you know, according to my plan, but that's okay because I honestly love the way it turned out so much. I am so happy that I went into the direction that I did when the stain just wasn't working to my liking. So here I am still going on my original journey with the bread box of it being a dark walnut stain. I decided to adhere the base back onto the box. So I just went in with this waterproof wood glue and then added some brand new nails because the other ones were rusty and nobody's got time for that. Okay, now that everything is back together and it's all done, you can see what I mean about just the wood not really taking too well to that stain. So here is part two of the bread box makeover. I go in with that country white and just paint over all the stained areas except for in the middle of the door where I have the white lettering with that dark walnut um, background. I really liked that so I did keep that part to it. And honestly, wow, after that first coat, like so much better. I could not even believe that I had stained it. I was like, what was I thinking? <laughs> But anyway, so glad that it turned out the way it did. I really liked it so much better with the white. It really just brightens it up. It doesn't make it feel so sad and drab and 
You know what I mean? So yeah, it was a perfect transformation, perfect change. Like, wow, just so much more stunning, way more eye-catching like this than it was with that dark walnut stain. Also at this point, I was going for a more rustic farmhouse look, so I decided to distress the entire box. Okay, so after I was all done distressing it, the last step was to seal it with a coat of polyurethane. Okay, there you have it. It's all finished and it is absolutely beautiful. I am so in love with it, so obsessed with it. I think it is just perfect. I know it might have felt like a bit of a mess in the beginning, but don't worry, I definitely saw that and knew I had to regroup and definitely go in a different direction so anyways I'm here to show you that you know sometimes that happens and it's okay because outcomes like this happen and it makes it all totally worth it all right well before I go I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below Maybe let me know if you were worried about the outcome or did you trust me the entire way. Also, if you guys have not already, please subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification. I appreciate all your love and support. Thanks for stopping by!